My name is Wangare Kuria. I am a farmer based in Nairobi, Kenya, and I am a YouTuber with the name Farmer on Fire. We like to change people's perception of how they look at farming to see it as a career and as a way of making money. I've been doing agriculture all my life. I am a village girl, but I never saw money change hands, which means I never saw farming as lucrative. In Africa, we have a lot of youths who are unemployed and yet farming is a low entry level that I would encourage everyone to get into. I would ask young people to think outside just taking that jembe and just sticking in the ground. There is more to agriculture than just that. I started farming when I got retrenched from my corporate job. I also started doing small films for my friends who wanted to know how to plant vegetables. I'm big on education. Even when I'm planting something, I'm not planting it for myself. I'm not planting to sell it. I'm planting to also share that journey with other people. I like to tell people about the better practices in farming. I like to expose them to new opportunity that they might not have been aware. I also do a lot of value addition, so I like to encourage farmers not just to be producers, but to work up the value chains. I most majorly use YouTube because of the videos. Brands will come and tell me, hey, uh, can you promote this? on your youtube channel and i'll be like no i don't do that because then there's that aspect of commercialization where you can influence people in a wrong way do anything for the money you know my youtube channel is my baby i don't want you know to be it to be used for the wrong reasons facebook is my next ideal site it's very interactive and that's why i enjoy it I'm in a lot of WhatsApp groups, especially for farmers. I'm on Twitter and LinkedIn, and I enjoy that they are specifically very serious, very business. And these people call me out because they see me as a leader in terms of farming, in terms of farming and women and farming and youth. Social media is a good space being a woman because we can be able to put out our voices and what we find is that society change happens that way is that i spoke out and a lot of people disagreed but then it gave permission to other women to say the same and then eventually society comes and normalizes it and now it becomes normal but i'm a feminist in love with social media because of that but there is a lot of abuse online because people will never meet the people who are saying those mean things. I have not felt being attacked because I think my message is very simple. But obviously there will be some of that percentage which is negative. I believe social media has helped agriculture in that spread of information. Farmers' biggest challenge is access to information. Get on YouTube, get on Facebook, you will learn so much and whatever you learn will be from practical experiences.